Hi, this is Michael Gelkin, Raiders beat reporter, Las Vegas Review Journal here in Indianapolis, where the Raiders are just getting underway at the 2019 NFL Scouting Combine. Mike Mayock spoke to reporters on Wednesday, and really, it seems that he can somewhat almost exhale, even though the work is really beginning here in Indianapolis, where well over 200 prospects are here for evaluation. The Raiders are also gearing up with free agency, a lot of agents from around the NFL, so some agents who represent current Raiders who are impending for agents or others around the NFL who will be free agents on March 13th. All of this is happening at once. And yet Mike Mayock just seems at peace with what has happened during his first two months as Raiders GM, where you've seen him be familiar with what his coaches are looking for in players. He had a couple week span, he said on Thursday, where he was meeting with all his scouts for a period of about 15 days, putting 12 hour long days. And during this two week span, we were able to put together the team's first draft board leading up to the April 25th to 27th draft. And also watching hours and hours of game or game film of potential free agents uh, alongside John Gruden and other coaches on the Raiders staff. And so all of this over these first couple months has given Mike Mayock the sense of comfort that he is where he needs to be to make the sort of decisions that will really define the Raiders' future. And for agency, the team has more than $70 million in salary cap space. He wants to tread carefully there, not looking to break the bank repeatedly on an uh, area where you look at historically for agency decisions and investments that are made tend not to consistently produce Pro Bowlers, more line of busts instead. And so he's trading carefully there, but also obviously in the draft when the Raiders have 10 overall picks, uh, three of them in the first round, four in the top 35, a lot of opportunity for Mike Mayock. But here, as the combine begins, he feels he's right where he should be. From here in Indianapolis, more updates online at ReviewJournal.com as well as in print at Las Vegas Review Journal.